1133 horsepower. It's only at 16 pounds of boost right there. How crazy is that? So here's our 388 twin turbo hot rod. The thing is damn amazing. 732 foot-pounds of torque, 862 horsepower, and nine pounds of boost. This is Jim Mulvey's 388. Seventy-nine at the start of the pull, 974 fucking foot-pounds, 1133 horsepower, it's only at 16 pounds of boost right there. How crazy is that? 388 inch driver. Really cool features is that this is a, you know, exhaust is all stainless um, as far as the piping goes. We back purge it when we weld it. And it's got some of our new billet 4 to one collectors that are made completely from a solid chunk of metal. So there's no weld joints on the collector itself, so you won't break the collector. And it's also got a V-band attachment, so you can rotate it clockwise and counterclockwise to get the turbo position where you want it. And the actual transition piece, this is done in three and a half inches, which was never possible with a pipe, actually, to do it cleanly. So we CNC this turbo transition to get a really tight uh, run into the turbocharger. Again, all billet. Uh, a lot of them that we do with the wastegate uh, attachments at a billet too, so there's no welding there on this particular application that we weld at the wastegate uh, just to get it a better fit in the in the Camaro. Uh, but and then it's got your V-band uh, tile wastegate, V-band attachment for the air cleaner, V-band attachment for the exhaust. So there's no gaskets there, which really makes it trick also. All right, so this is kind of a sneak peek and look at the, one of the uh, billet collectors so you can see it's just completely machined from a billet which is really trick and this will actually center itself it's got a female built into it here and that's got a male so it interlocks itself into the actual transition the transition itself is again billet has the wastegate attachment into it and you're never going to break this this is just it's a lifetime part and a turbo deal so it's really trick part So if you look closely, you can see how they interlock. So you pop, pop it together, 
and it's a really good interference fit. You put the V-band on there, you can rotate this to rotate for the turbocharger, and it's just, it makes for a lifetime part. All right, so this is the back of the motor. We're gonna show you some of the details in the back of the engine. We've welded in a bunch of specific bungs for fuel pressure reference or hard line reference for the gates or blow-offs. Uh, and it's all done back here in the, in the manifold, so we get a lot of referencing, power brakes, etc. We've also got dual fuel rails. Uh, you run on a small primary injector and a larger secondary injector, which can inject brace gas under a demand situation. So you can run a 91 until it gets into boost and then your race gas kicks in after that. Uh, what's also nice is that the injector placement is a much better shot at the back of the valve comparative to what factory is. So it's a straighter shot which uses less fuel and, uh, and makes more power. We've also got uh, dash 12 weldings into the valve cover itself so these can go off to a breather assembly which you'll never get oil in the engine bay which is kind of a nice little trick right there.